Hello, uh, we're at Manchester Maths Jam, as evidenced by the presence of a Maths Jam over here. Uh, it's early days yet, so there's not that many of us here, uh, but we're going to be using our uh, crisp tube Enigma machine today, so this is what you get uh, when you print out the Enigma machine, you get these uh, bits of rotors and reflectors and things, uh, and then you get a tube of crisps. Uh, if you're clever, you don't get one with 10% extra free, which is what I did, which means I've got a bit of a gap at the end, uh, but it should be exactly the right width. Uh, and you end up with uh, a machine that's got a reflector at this end where the, the, the lines come in and go back out again uh, and then all the way through you can trace the lines across and it tells you which letter you've got out at the other end uh, so hopefully we'll be using this to send some messages uh, in Enigma code, the unbreakable Enigma code um, to the Newcastle Mass Jam because we're in Manchester we've got the code MAN for Manchester there as our initial settings uh, hopefully Newcastle are going to do something similar uh, and we're now going to think of a message to encode uh, to send through to Newcastle. Okay, so I'm encoding uh, the message now uh, using my Enigma machine and I just have to find the letter that I'm encoding over here on the right, follow the lines all the way down. Uh, handily the lid of this crisp tube rotates so I can use it to, to follow the lines all the way around and after each letter that I've encoded I need to turn uh, the rotor. So I've encoded the first letter and I now need to turn this rotor through one letter. So I go that's turned. Of course if this were an actual Enigma machine uh, it would do that for me um, but you know we didn't have the budget. So Manchester's message is uh, I Z H I G, like that. Uh, that's five letters, so I'm going to guess it's maths, but I don't know. Their, their settings are the rotors uh, one, two, and three, and the, set, the positions are M A N, if I've understood them properly. So, uh, let's see. There's an M there, there's an A. N. Wind up the A there. This setting. Right. Okay, so I roll it, this red around one. I've got O there now. And I need to look for I. Oh, it's hard. Uh, yeah, I goes to. U, which goes to R, to F, which gets reflected to L, J, no, oh, it's not math, so I must have done it wrong. So, J is my letter. Um, I, I don't even know which letter I'm looking for here. There we go. This is actually quite good fun, except I'm terrified I'm going to do it completely wrong and, uh, and send them a nonsense message. So this rolls around again. The next letter is Z. Z goes to... Well, that's wrong. Uh, so we've encoded the message and sent it to Newcastle. It's not very long, it's only five letters. Um, but they have been unable to decode it so far and successfully get a word. Um, we then tried again and got a different way of encoding it, so maybe the first one was wrong. We sent them that as well, but they still can't decode it. Uh, and then we tried again and we got the first thing again. Uh, so we've um, sent them a, a secret message to let them know um, that that was right in the first place and that they're obviously doing it wrong as well. Um, but no one here can get um, mobile phone app Enigma machines to replicate what we're achieving with Pringle Enigma. Uh, sorry, Chris Chief's Enigma, uh, which might indicate that we're doing something wrong. But, you know, maths is all about experimentation, right? There's no, there's no absolutes in maths, right? That's the thing, right? We've worked out what Manchester were doing wrong. Uh, they were uh, rotating 
the rotors after reading a letter off instead of um, before. So what that means is we can just move our one step back and that should give us the right message. So the thing was I-Z-H-I-G. So I need uh, I goes to K. Success! Um, Newcastle have managed to decode our message. Turns out we were doing it wrong. Uh, you're supposed to turn the, the thing before you encode a letter, even the first one, for some reason. Uh, but we've now read the instructions properly and therefore much better informed. So we've received a, a message back from Newcastle, uh, given that the message that we sent them was Coles. Uh, they have sent us back a four-letter message, uh, which Paul is currently in the process of decoding. Uh, encoding and decoding look very similar to the untrained eye. Um, it is just staring at a slow rotating crisp tube covered in paper. Uh, but Paul has successfully decoded the message, uh, and we've determined that it says "ha ha," uh, which is good because uh, we're hilariously funny. Uh, so we're now going to proceed and send them a much longer message that's now 20 characters that we've encoded uh, and we'll see what happens with that. So uh, it's getting later on in the evening now. Um, we've played some set, we've played some tantrics uh, while we've been waiting for messages to be encoded and decoded. We've since sent them a message uh, that said, uh, sorry for being wrong, because our first message was encoded slightly wrong. Uh, and they've replied again with a message which we've successfully decoded, by which I mean we've successfully decoded the first five letters of it and then assumed that we're right, uh, which says, apology accepted. Um, so, you know, everything's good, all relations are good between uh, Manchester and Newcastle and Ash Jams, uh, which is good to know. Also, the power of maths is in evidence uh, with our Enigma crisp tube machines, uh, and we've had a really good time playing with them. So, hopefully, this video has been a record of that enjoyment that we've had. Uh, but if you want to make your own crisp tube, as I say, we'll post a link um, to the webpage where you can print off the, the PDFs uh, to get the pieces of paper that you cut up. Um, and you can make your own uh, crisp tube enigma machine. So have fun with that. The Pringles. Pringles. <laughs>